this morning and you doubt yourself again. Ruth is right about one thing, we need hope and sure all the aim. He said, you're part of the PPR, so make those preps all shine. You're born under a goalpost with a thick skin in your eyes. That was 14 years ago, but we are just five days away now from the premiere edition of the 19th season. That's right, 19 of them all of the Prep Pay Skin Report. So put your remote down and keep it here so you won't miss it at 1030 this Friday night. And I can tell you that our schedule for week one is getting just the final touches and it will include, amongst many things, a helicopter. There will be a helicopter. Tune in and see what I'm talking about this Friday. Now, speaking of things taking flight, Saturday night, the test flight for San Diego State as the Aztecs host their first scrimmage in front of a couple thousand over at the stadium formerly known for telecommunications. Here are your big notes for the day. Rashad Penny, well, that's about all you're going to see of him because he gets the Danell Pumphrey treatment once again. As for on the field, Rocky Long must trust Carlsbad's Crispin Chapman with the football because he let the other backup quarterbacks take most of the snaps and the chicken pox scare well looks to be pretty much over as barely anybody missed time due to the ailment. I don't think it was one sided on either side of the ball and there were some good things that happened and there were some things that weren't very good that happened. We hope to find out who uh, the starters are going to be in positions that are up for grabs and we're looking to see what our depth is going to be. Our coaches always tell us the best player plays and uh, our jobs as running backs are just to, to be consistent, uh, do our jobs, go 100% every down and, and then, uh, you know, uh, whoever earns it, earns it. Back on the Mesa, here's some women's soccer on a Sunday afternoon. Aztecs playing host UC Davis in their home opener. Scoreless first half thanks to Aztecs goalie Gabby English getting four saves. But in the 52nd minute, Mia Root with the assist and Aliyah Utush with the finish. And with that goal, Mike Friesen becoming the Aztecs most winning coach with 123 victories. SDSU wins 1-0. You know, obviously that credit goes to a ton of different people, assistant coaches I've had over the last 10 years and players that have been, you know, phenomenal to, to put our program in a good place. So it's fun to have our program be in a spot where we feel like we're competing on a really high level all the time. Chuck Clegg obviously uh, was the coach that started the program on the women's side and was a longtime men's coach and had tons of success on both sides, uh, including taking the men's team to the national championship game in 1987. So Chuck certainly set the tone for that. A lot of uh, credit to him to get us to where it made my job a little easier to say we've had success here and we can be good we must go across the eight as well usd women also in action taking on texas a&m at torero stadium 12th minute the aggies Haley pounds turns and burns into the upper 90 but a&m up one to nothing 33rd minute now they almost double the lead but keeper amber michael somehow keeping this one Right out of that bread basket, the former Christian High Patriot keeping it close for the Toreros, collecting a total of 10 saves on the day. But the Aggies take home the win 2-0. I just always try to go 100%, and I have my team behind me who's always supporting me, and I just we get the momentum back, and I just go 100%, I guess, yeah. I just focus on the ball. whatever, Whoever's in my way, the post or whatever, I'm just going to get the ball. That's my goal. San Diego Padres closing out their series with the NL East powerhouse Washington Nationals. And hey, that's for Pixie and Idol Jonathan de Guzman receiving the Jerry Coleman Scholarship Award. Now, the Friars can thank Wilmer Defoe for their first run of the ball game as the throw from across the diamond is a little bit offline. As you see, Jabari Blast comes in and that ball is a little bit out. But from then on, it's the Daniel Murphy show and that second baseman tying it on a sack fly before singling home the go-ahead run in the fifth. Well, only seven men even touch a base for the Padres after the first, as Sean Doolittle does a lot shutting the door right there as we take a look at the board. Padres fall 4-1. to one. San Diego gets a day off for hitting the road. They're facing the cards on Tuesday. The Pacific Classic is over doesn't mean the turf and the surf stop meeting. Here's the Del Mar Mile for three-year-olds and up $200,000 on the line. Trevor Denman, take it away. Jack's coming with a powerful run down the center of the track. Om on the grandstand side in with a shot too. And Blackjack Cat's hanging on. Blackjack Cat by Jack above of the nose. Blackjack Cat by Jack. Your winner is Black Jack Cat, the four-year-old Brown Gilden ridden by Kent DeSormo and trained by Mark Glatt. Getting you 1960, pretty good payday. 
Well, Bob Baffert trained horses have won the Pacific Classic five times, including Saturday's running at Del Mar. One problem, though, 2017 winner, not quite the one he was looking for. Arrowgate, the $17 million superstar colt that's won across the world, it's in a nosedive after a second straight loss at Del Mar. That too collected. Now, a second place finish is bad enough, but if the 2016 Breeders' Cup champ has a real problem with the dirt at Del Mar, well, it won't help him with the 2017 event right in the same place in November. It's still exciting. It's sort of, I feel like my older son got beat by the younger son, you know, and he, you know, he was the older son that's supposed to win, and that's the way I feel. You know, my older kid got beat by the, the young kid, so... At least, you know, at least we got one, two, both horses. They, they ran great. Fairgate's a, a legend and, and deservedly so. And I guess uh, when I have a cocktail later tonight, I'll say uh, that Collected is a special horse also. Well, that team from Costa Mesa is in action on their soccer pitch against the New Orleans Saints. Big news for L.A., more fans this time. Exactly 143 more fans showed up, 2100, 197. Well, there's nothing like a second chance at a first impression, right? Chargers first play, nine-yard loss for the Badger Gordon. Saints first play, a 50-yard touchdown run by the fourth string running back. Get out of here. Also, by the way, Manti Teo, you remember him, gets his pound of flesh on Kellen Clemens. Coast the Mesa Chargers of Los Angeles, still winless though, final 13-7.